Hey, 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 everyone. It's your favorite political innovator, David Washington, and this is the David Washington Show. So, yeah, I'm a little bit sweaty, uh, a little bit uh, overdressed, as you can see, for the Florida heat, because I just got uh, off the trail with my morning walk and uh, had some thoughts that I just need to, like, put out here. And, you know, as I was walking, I was just thinking, I was uh, reviewing the news earlier this morning, and uh, I was just reading about some of my favorite places that I would go to to eat, uh, whether it's here, whether it's in the Carolinas, Georgia, Chicago, Michigan, whatever. And um, they're closing up for good. And I'm like, you know, something just ain't right. And then as I'm taking my walk today, you know, I see a young lady um, on the trail sitting in the bench and um, she was clothed for the day and um, she had her backpack and uh, it was pretty clear that, yeah, she had nowhere else to go. And then there was a, another gentleman who was sleeping right there on the curb next to his Harley Davidson with his backpack and um, he had nowhere else to go. And I'm walking some more, and then I'm walking past a lake that I usually walk past, and there's a woman with uh, mental health issues who is getting up for the day, uh, packing her belongings, and she's right there on the lake. And uh, I was like, wow, she was hidden by some trees and everything, and uh, that's really risky because I always tell everyone, you know, when you come to Florida, expect to see gators everywhere. I don't care if it's a puddle of water, but to expect to see gators everywhere. And so I started thinking like, wow, this economy is not as fruitful or as exceptional as many would have us believe. And, you know, there are folks who are excelling. However, I am seeing more and reading more and hearing more of the difficulties of living in today's economy. And to take it a little bit further, um, specifically when it comes to campaigns, I'm just not seeing the investments in the right places, but more on a local level, the investments in our campaigns. And if candidates are not putting in the work, to invest in their campaigns here at JW, we treat campaigns as startup businesses. So we have that business mentality of approaching political campaigns. So if candidates are not putting in the work, that's taking for granted their constituents vote. And I have to, you know, put a little bit of the responsibility, I have to put a lot of responsibility, let's just call it for what it is. I have to put a lot of the responsibility on us, the voters, because we don't hold not just our electeds, but our candidates who are trying to earn our vote. That's what they're trying to do, earn it. And just because you have a D or R behind your name, or you're nonpartisan or independent or libertarian or constitutional, that doesn't necessarily mean that a voter, a constituent, should just vote because of the political affiliation. And again, I put the vast majority of the responsibility on us, the voters, the constituents, because we don't hold our electeds and candidates accountable. We'll go into the voting booth and we'll just vote, you know, straight ticket. Oh, that person, that person is a Democrat, I'm going to vote for them just because they're a Democrat or because they check off certain boxes. And that's the, that, and, and then we complain later. And, and, and we complain about the other party. And we complain about the, you know, uh, country going in a direction that we did not want it to go into. Then we talk about, you know, the homeless situation. We talk about our environment 
falling apart, our infrastructure falling ap apart. We don't know our neighbors. We can't get to work because of all the traffic and public transportation is shit. So, you know, I'm, I'm thinking being the political innovator and I live this stuff. I eat this stuff. I poop this stuff. <laughs> and, you know, it's just very disappointing to see on both sides of the political fence. Uh, there are some campaigns and the majority of them that I am witnessing who are just not putting in the work to earn our votes in November. And that is the true atrocity to the failure of our democracy. We just got lazy. Um, and, and why? Maybe because there's, there's no teaching of civics in school anymore. I know Governor DeSantis has changed that here in Florida. But we're just not engaged. We're civically not engaged anymore. And we're just so busy trying to live our lives. Do we really have the time to? So, you know, I just wanted to put that out. Again, you know, thank you for, you know, being a part of our community, Ubuntu. Uh, I really, really appreciate you being here with us and enjoying our content across all of our properties uh we've got hurricane helene on its way so i'm gonna get cleaned up get ready for uh the day there's a lot of content that uh, we need to put out so if you're in florida and if you're uh buckled down and uh need something to to watch some really good content uh, check us out uh while everything is closed and if you get internet access you know Check out our content or download it, you know, beforehand. And, uh, you know, let us know what you think, please. We love to hear from you. And we love to hear about your thoughts on what's going on in our community. And uh, please, again, comment. I'd love, to com I'd love to comment on your comments. And uh, let's be respectful. Uh, stop flirting with Cedra, you guys. <laughs> But uh, again, however, uh, we really enjoy your comments and uh, I love uh, talking with, uh, with our community. So we'll see you the next time. I'm going to get washed up, get out of these clothes and, uh, you know, get ready for my long day. We'll see you the next time. We're out of here.